Hello everyone, this is a crazy back with another deck for you. Today we're looking at the Riders of the Apocalypse first edition from Ace Collectible Cards, who is one of the sponsors of this channel. And I want to thank him for sending me these decks to review. And I say sponsor because he does sponsor my channel. He sends me all his decks to review uh, without any question or anything really in return except for a review. So I appreciate that. Whoops. And uh, that is that. So let's get on with this one. These are from a Kickstarter project last year sometime. He did do another one, a second version of these decks that I am, well, anticipating receiving at some point in time. I haven't seen them yet. And I may actually, may or may not be getting another set of these because of quality reasons, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So the front of the box, you see this artwork, which is a horseman. A knight on a horse, and it says Riders of the Apocalypse. This one with blue colors. This is a limited edition with a reddish color, and it says limited edition as well. Also, silver foil and some embossing. These are inspired by the Four Horsemen, not the wrestling ones, <laughs> just to be clear. And you see the artwork just continue on to the sides. There is some embossing, and onto the top and to the bottom, which says AceCollectibleCards.com. Made by Noir Arts and PCC in Ukraine. Go check out GlaceCollectibleCards.com. And again, it just wraps right around to the back. You can almost put them together and create an image. And a custom seal, kind of dark in color with kind of a moon in there. And you see the four different horsemen represented with four different colors. Nothing on the flap. This is a fairly standard papery tuck case the inside you get a bunch of dead people a bunch of skulls throughout pretty interesting a little gruesome now you get an ad card for ace collectible cards there you go ace collectible cards .com. go check them out and there is a back design it's kind of simple a little bit ornate kind of a skull or a day of the dead type look to it with some skulls and some ornate details not the fanciest bad design but it's it's fine it works you do get a gaff card as well it's a half queen of clubs and a half king of hearts and then there's also some gaff cards or jokers really for them one is represents the spades another the hearts another the clubs and another the diamonds and you can see each suit kind of has its own color scheme to it and I guess these are the four horsemen I would assume um, the hearts by the way in this deck the hearts represent conquest the diamonds war the spades pestilence which I had to look up that basically means plague and the clubs famine which are the, represent the four different horsemen um, I should point out the standard edition has 1800 printed and the limited 800 printed. The aces they look like this. Custom pips. Uh, very dark details. Maybe not the most user friendly uh, or usable. The clubs have a green, green lettering. The hearts a light blue with the red pip. Clubs a darker blue with a grayish pip and the diamond almost a yellowy orange color with the red pip very nice diamond pip the heart I wish it was more red color to fit or just a bluish color something uh, also I would have preferred if the indexes were more traditional with the letter and then a pip underneath it as opposed to uh, beside it but that's just me it's just a minor thing but they're pretty interesting and they each got their own kind of color scheme although some of them kind of blend together because they're all so dark you get into the court cards hopefully you can see everything, everything okay I mean I've got the lights on but that's just how dark the cards are really uh, the queens are all horses <laughs> ironically And then here's the number cards. Each one kind of has its own color scheme. Custom pips. Uh, 
and yeah you can see the handling is not the greatest <clears throat> and this one it's the same thing with the inside of the tuck case you get the same ad card this one I like better because it's white faces Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I paused it for a second. Oh my god, he paused the video for a second. I like never do that. Uh, the limited edition one is the same back, same color. I would have preferred if it had a, at least white borders to match the faces. You get the same gaff card and add card. And you get spade and diamond jokers, but you don't get the hearts and the clubs. And I have to question why. It's the limited edition deck, so it's to have more not less than the standard one in my opinion especially since it's more limited and probably more money uh you get the same thing for the aces i guess it's supposed to be a black heart i don't know that would kind of fit and the court cards i'll just show you a few of them probably yeah and the number cards i do prefer this one because it's white <laughs> and it's just uh it looks better personally it's much more user friendly but yeah, that is that. Overall, you know, it's an interesting theme. I'm curious to see the second version and how that one is going to be different than this one. Because I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like a theme where there could be a whole series of decks, but I'm curious, obviously. Of course, these could represent two horsemen. The other one could represent two other horsemen itself. And of course, you could do a different back design as well. They're printed by Noir Arts on a embossed linen finish and a decent stock. You're not going to do any cardistry with these decks, more than likely. Don't expect to anyways. But they're okay. Uh, they fan, they spread nice. They fan okay. Um, they're, they're not bad looking. I was, I admit, a little disappointed with the back design when I saw it. But I didn't know what the back design is going to look like because he didn't actually post it on the on the project. He likes to leave a surprise for backers, which is cool. I appreciate that, but I, I have to wonder how many people might have been disappointed with the back design. And maybe not. Maybe it's just me. It's not a bad back design. It's a pretty cool deck altogether, and the back design does fit the theme. I do think you can see there's some chipping on the edges, so that's a bit of an issue with this deck. But overall, pretty cool decks. Um, I would give them probably an 8 out of 10. Might have been a little bit higher had the handling or the quality been a little bit better and not chipping and the colors a bit brighter. The index is a bit more user friendly. That sort of thing. I don't know. There's just there's nothing majorly wrong with them at all. Nice looking decks, interesting theme, they're well done, they fit the theme, but there's just a bunch of little minor things that I think could have been better. And hopefully that will be rectified in future projects I do know he is looking to produce with the USPC. So hopefully that comes to fruition, that or Carter Munde or somebody else. Uh, we'll see. That is that. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Special thanks to Ace Collectible Cards for these decks. And making this video possible <laughs> and uh before i sound like a pbs advertisement just comment hit subscribe let me know what you think and i'll see you next time for more thanks for watching check out acecollectiblecards.com see ya